Hi, my name is T. Lloyd. I'm a writer and I'm here with ConcreteCakes.com talking about my blog, VirginFingertips.blogspot.com. An autobiography has to be one of the hardest things to write. It will always be a balance of who you are and who you want to be. It almost feels like an explanation instead of a description. This peculiar observation of self leaves me somewhere in the middle. That's a fine place to start anyway because the beginning can be intimidating and the end, well nobody ever sees that coming. As for me, how do I tell you about myself without overwhelming you with 24 years of run-on sentences? I can, or rather, I won't. Why make you suffer? Instead, I'll tell you the things that have a bearing on what's been written so far. I can swim like a fish. My father threw me off the pier when I was a little girl and I've been swimming ever since. The ocean water speaks to me. I'm from an island, so we've always been neighbors. Sometimes I'll fly 3,000 miles just to have that conversation because concrete jungles can be so quiet. And I like sand between my pedicure toes because contrary to popular belief, firm ground is what makes me nauseous. Motion or even the ability to move comforts me. So as the sand slips between the crevices of my untouched skin, it is a reminder that moving on sometimes feels better than holding on. Some of my friends think I'm hard-headed. I'm really not. I just move slower than I think. They can wait. I have an insane amount of control over my emotions. Sometimes I amaze myself. While some people believe you can't control the way you feel, I know you can control your behavior. And since that's based on how you feel, then ding, ding, ding. Your emotions are within your control most of the time. You just don't want the responsibility. I believe that everything is in context and that truth is only true to the person whose mouth it's coming from, at least until they convince you. I like facts, but I love possibilities. And words might quite possibly be the best gift humanity has come up with, if we can even take credit for it. Being called popular or a local celebrity is quite flattering, but also very uncomfortable, probably because I don't know the definition of either. This blog has some people convinced that they know me, and I agree to an extent. I've given a substantial amount of pieces, but when you consider how big the puzzle is, we're just getting started. I will paint the picture, I will even put the puzzle together in a convenient package for you, but the moment you start to pick apart the art to satisfy and quench in yourself, then the beauty of this has been compromised. There's so much I don't say because this is not an elegant tabloid for my life. It's a combination of storytelling, real life events, and lessons strewn together for those who read but do not speak, though I recognize that art is relative to the artist and the story feels better when you know who and what it's about. The truth is that the characters change all the time, even when the story doesn't. When creativity speaks, all you have to do is listen. Coca-Cola is a real addiction for me, and I'm not starting any 12-step programs to bring me from that dark place of carbonated caffeine. I won't do it. I believe in female empowerment, spaghetti, and acrylic. Three things that help my spirit, my body, and my nails grow. Do I look like a blogger? I thought I had all the essentials. A watch, my vanilla chai, a cool hat, a hoodie, and an iPhone. Sounds like a starving artist if you ask me. I hate washing dishes. That's the one part of domesticity that I can live without. I don't know how to date. I either fall in love or I don't. I have maybe 20 pictures that I absolutely love in the world and I'm probably only in four of them. I broke my toe, my cheekbone, my finger, and my wrist. Why? Who knows? I wish I cried more often so when I did, it wouldn't be such an event. Making love is my favorite activity. Was that too much? As much as I study people, I still don't understand them. I use the word love a lot and I mean it. So I love my little woman, Coca-Cola, Tiramisu, Detangler, The Sound of Running Water, Idris Elba, Being a Lady, whatever that means, metaphors, the church I grew up in, my brown skin, sewing machines, music, and the craft thereof, summer nights, poetry in motion, mackerel and banana, critical thinking, Paris, crates and plates of basketball hoops, double dutch, New York City, milk with chocolate syrup, secrets, and interruption. I colored a picture the other day, and it was entitled Zippy the Turban, which is the funniest oxymoron I've ever seen in my life. I heard coloring was therapeutic, so I gave it a try and ended up laughing instead. The therapy part was right. In lieu of therapy, I haven't gotten that thing called forgiveness down pat yet. It might not even be in my stars. Oh, and I like sports. And besides having geographic loyalty, I like sports because of its discipline, which we could all borrow from time to time. And lastly, before you think this is the book, I'm a lover and a fighter, and I certainly will not choose one over the other.